how do you feel about the state of hip hop right now? Do you feel like another le- another um, generation of artists are being able to develop? And who are the ones that you're looking for outside of Baby and Gone of Them? I mean, because at yeah. this point, Baby and Gone of Them, there's some slick veterans out here now. Yeah. Okay, them boys ain't new no more. Yeah, they're not new anymore. Um, and not to say this in a bad way, but after you heard so many songs and them featured on each other's albums, you kind of can see where they peaked out. Unless one of them cats wake up and just say, hey, I'm finna rap about Switch the style up. I'm finna switch the style up or I'm finna start talking about this. Mm. But that could be dangerous too. Because sometimes they feel like, oh man, if I change my subject matter, I might lose my cat. You know, I might lose lose all the cats in my fan base or whatnot. So that's why it's kind of about how you come into this game. You know mm. what I mean? When Jay came in, you know, talk about riding in the three point, yeah, four point yeah. six, you know. Yeah. yeah. You know, rapping about, you know, like how he kicked it, you know, and so it's like it's it's kinda it'll be difficult for an artist who's just been rapping a lot of, you know, street shit and just uh the lifestyle, you know, the diamonds or whatnot. That's why to a certain degree, I mean, and shout out to um Migos, mm. they had a nice run. Yeah, <clears throat> but after you heard him talk about jewelry and you know and a lot of and the Versace and the money, after yeah. a while, it's kind of like all right now, the y'all three, which one of y'all gonna take go us solo to another level and and take it to the next level and spit some of that real shit to really keep people a, a fan of yours? See, cause it's it's a thing when you're just making good songs, people could be a fan of that song and you, but when you making a good song and they getting a chance to know you, they could be a fan of you. Even after the songs may not hit as hard, they yeah. still following you just because your lifestyle and what you stand for. Like, I still feel like I don't know neither one of the Migos to this day. Mm. Now, I know Quavo, you know, because that's yeah. uh, no, Offset. Uh, that's yeah. the one married to Cardi B, right? That's right. So that's the only one who I could really say that I may know because I see how he kick it with his, you know, yeah. the new child, his wife. And he's a father. I see how he represents his, his queen too, brother. Dick. Yeah. He, he let Cardi. I just seen him. I see something. He was on the red carpet, and he stepped back and fixed her hair. That's right. I was like, bro, that's nigga's a king. Now, bro. come on, man. Hey, hey, come on. Offset, you did some. You was, you was a king some for that. Some love in the club, finally. And he fall back. Like I ain't trying to get no spotlight. Exactly. I'm here on the red carpet with my woman. So, out of those three, that's the only one who I might feel like I know. Let me they get never in really made too. songs where you could really know yeah, them. Yeah, exactly. Now I feel where you yeah. going with that. When we speak of making that pivot to reinvigorate and re-energize your career, mm-hmm. there's only one artist that I can think of that has successfully did it, man. Goes by the name of Titty Two Chains. Two Chains, Tahid Epps, bro. I ain't seen day. nobody else be able to do it other than Two Chains. Yeah, man, I mean, he shit. did that pivot, came back Two Chains, and he ain't looked back Nick, ever that, since. With that Mama song, he's like, my Mama, uh, when, Come he brought, on. when they brought their moms on stage, him yes. and um, uh, YG. Oh my nigga, god, nigga, that shit was so hard. Yeah, nigga. yeah, <laughs> yeah. So my question is, do you think any uh, other artists can pull that off, though? Because Chains did bro. it, but I mean, it's like you know. Do you think Future can make a pivot to a whole different to a March Madness future? Nope. And not once again. I'm, I'm a Future fan. I love you Future. Future, one of the goats. But and I just heard some new stuff. Yeah. And I was like, ah, oh, you know, I ain't gonna say it ain't jamming, but I thought he was gonna take us somewhere else. Uh, so my whole thing is, but where would it, you want him to take us, though? Even if it ain't. The subject matter, musically, you could take, go just choose some different type music if you want to go. Mm. If you're not going to write, you know, some new shit yeah. uh, or just talk about something else, at least say, Change hey, let me find another producer or another sound mm-hmm. to take my shit somewhere else. And I make it still rap about what I rap about, mm. you know, and but this music, this beat yeah. from this whole, maybe you might. Reach in uh, Metro or, or 808 Mafia and yep. say, hey, man, hold on. Give me y'all left field folder. Exactly. Don't give me the shit that y'all been giving me for the past 10 years. Like, yep. now, let me hear give what Give me the stuff you wanted to give to Kendrick. Yeah. Give me the stuff yeah, you wanted you to go. give to Lupe. And that's what, Bring future, that over here right and that's what future should do. If I mean, I ain't going to tell you what another man should do. <laughs> but if I was an artist and I want to keep winning and give maybe another five or 10-year yeah. run, I would... 
either try to get the left field type music out of their folder, yeah, or find just another producer where to get another sound where I could get you know inspired around with some new ideas. Yeah. Because when it comes to rapping, what I loved about Future is his styles. He could switch it up, yes. and he got those melodies that can pretty much ride any track. And take a different song to a different way, whether whether it's rapping or singing. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. So it's like you got to stretch it out a little bit. But see, that's what happens here. It's at one point getting back to that when you had producers who was really over an artist, even though it could be a producer. Let's say if I was Future's main producer, or or, or even he got Metro Boomin. Yeah, as his main producer. But as a producer, producer on some old school shit. We would say, hey, you know what? All right, I got four solid joints on this album. Yeah. But Future, I, 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 let's see if we could take it somewhere else, man. I like this one producer from the UK who got this sound. Yeah. So, well, I'm finna get some music production from him and yeah. bring it. Still produce the whole album, executive exactly. produced by Metro Boomin, but it may have some production for some new folks to bring a new sound. Yeah. Yep. You know, just like, the, what's his name? Um, oh my God, man, Pop Smoke. Yeah. That man, hey man, Youngin was about to have a nice little run, man. Yeah, he was. Because he was rapping about that drill music. He's like, yeah. he started bending that 808 bass. Yeah. That was, now, like, just think, you got New York artists who still, that's their go to sound now. Yeah. yeah. Instead of them getting on Southern tracks, they are getting on that, that, that shit with that, you know, that, that pop smoke. That's and right. He was the first one to introduce that. So that proves that when you change your sound, mm -hmm. even if you don't change your lyrics or your, or your subject matter, New production. Just let somebody bring some new sounds. What if Future didn't want that new sound? What if he was like, you know what, ATL Jacob, I love what you're doing over here, and I'm about to. Cause see, what if he Sound was like, I'm gonna give these Jacob folks. Too. I just met that young and good, cool kid. Too, he's going man. crazy. Yeah, he going. He put in work. What if he felt like I'm gonna just give these folks this future? They don't. Mm -hmm. Do you think artists get scared to the point to where they like, you know what, these folks ain't gonna feel me if I try to switch it up? Either that or you got a bad a and r because mm. A&Rs used to play a part on that too and moving of artists around to say, hey, man, you know what? I know this one producer over here who may have this. And you may try it and say, oh, it don't work. But you got some A&Rs who will say, well, man, I just want the world to know that you work with this guy. No, nah, if the song ain't hot, don't put it on the album. Come on. You know what I mean? Well, see, uh, 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 I'm about to go here, too. I'm and about to go here. I heard that ATL Jacob did on Future Album where it was a whole nother type style, too. My little brother was just playing that shit. When it Talk. comes to these artists and singles, I was talking to EJ the DJ about this, because mm -hmm. this is one of my favorite points I like to make. Outcast, Southern Playlist Cadillac Music, you had mm -hmm. Players Ball and Southern Playlist. Mm -hmm. ATLians, you had ATLians. You see what I'm saying? Two dope boys in the Cadillac. Mm -hmm. And I mean, in uh, Elevators. Okay. Elevators, yeah. Those songs were totally different from Southern Playalistic. Yeah. Then we get to Quimmy now. We got Rosa Parks and Skewed on the Barbie, which were totally different from AT Aliens and Elevator. Totally then different. Then we go to Stank On We got Miss Jackson mm -hmm. and uh, So Fresh and So Clean, which were totally different from the ones beforehand then. Mm -hmm. Then we go to everything else. You got Hey Ya and uh, Speaker Box. Mm hmm. Each time you could see the progression. Yes. Same thing with an artist named Tip as well. Tip do the same thing. You yes. see what I'm saying? Yeah. You we saw that with Tomp and Tip though. Tip, yep. And Those then, boys won 24s. Right. Right. 24s wasn't what you know, you know, know about that. Yeah. You, you see don't what know I'm saying? Me was a whole nother beast. Come on. Motivation, a whole nother beast. Yeah. So it was like each time yeah. you could see the growth in the sound, which allowed us to be able to grow with the artists, with the artists. at the same time, man. Yeah. And I feel like that's what's missing. I feel like artists get in a pocket yeah, and they and certain, stay in that damn it, pocket. And it's, it's a like, come zone. on, man. Yeah, and it's a comfort zone that I would say they get into. And like I say, I just heard the most recent future and I was like, oh, man, I'm a fucking fan. But I was hoping you were going to take it yeah. up another tier. Yeah. You know what I mean? It just, it seemed like it's starting to be like one big album now to me uh, when I hear some of these artists, you know? Um Say, baby, you know, I want to. I would love to see little baby. See where he he could take it. You yeah. know, even the baby. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, he's been getting in so much trouble lately, dude. Yeah, we could keep the baby alive long enough because I mean, man. he's just a brawler. He likes to fight. Yeah, he likes to fight, but man, I'm telling you, it's a place for that. It's, it's a few places for that. Yes. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? That yeah. walnut case, yeah. you know, behind bars, yeah. or either UFC. It's yeah. a few, few places you can fight, or the boxer. You know, if you got skill, skill, you know, MMA, yeah. or if you got them just hands only. Yeah. But it's a few places, but just doing that shit and swinging on civilians and just, eh. I think the last guy he swung on was supposed to be signed to his label or something, yeah. they say. Yeah. I'm Save trying to, I mean, I try not to get nobody business. I don't know what happened between them, but. To see this young around here just, you know, they've gotten to so many confrontations, man. It, 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 uh, it, it could be a little, it could really get dangerous for them out here because yeah, that'll make people saying. start trying you everywhere you exactly. go out. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Now and you can't some, go nowhere. And this guy's out here with them hands, bro. Oh, yeah. You know, I see baby got hands. Yeah. But it's niggas out here with them hands. There's always somebody big and bad, and, and that's just and, the bottom and, line. And then you get into that, uh, and see, we come from that era, you know, to where, hey, man. Oh, this is my cousin. He fresh out of Alto. <laughs> <laughs> my old school Come son on. niggas. Yeah. Hey, look here. Hey, boy. Fresh out of Alto. My God. When somebody tell you they fresh out of Alto, bro. Come on. Come <laughs> on. You already know what time it is. That boy got hands from hell. Is that <laughs> you know how to glide. They got the knees and bows. You know what I mean? We start seeing that in, Uf in yep. UFC. Exactly. You know, all the knees and bows. But I be like, man, my niggas been telling me about knees and bows in Alto. Exactly. Thank God I ain't never had to go there. But Praise the Lord. Cats fighting, man. Exactly. So if you keep putting this out here that you love to fight everywhere you go and you love solving shit by fighting, there's somebody... For real, gonna real gonna gonna, gonna try, dude, man. But and now I hope it don't you know get ugly. The baby says that he's just getting bad press, and he feels like everybody's just you know picking on him and you know painting him out to be this crazy man that he's not. But it's all on video. Come on, man. The one dude he beat up, I think and he the ended up alley. passing. Oh man. Well, yeah, the other dude, and, and the yeah. Versace or the Gucci yeah. store or whatever yeah. they were, yeah. the LV store. I think he ended up passing. Yeah, he did pass. Um, like you say, the bowling, I forgot about the yeah, bowling, bowling alley situation. Alley. Another situation in Miami. Yeah. With a, uh, the promoter. Yeah. And I mean, it's just, it's a few of them. We may still just be scratching the surface. Mm -hmm. And and the fact that, uh, you know, the situation that they say happened in Walmart, at, you know, before he got signed. Yeah, that's crazy. You know, and honestly, man, I think anybody who has taken somebody off the face of this earth mm -hmm. and end up getting off you know because of self defense should really be thankful man because yeah that's shit, real if that go the wrong way man we talking about 20 or more years exactly. bro, that man wouldn't even be out here kicking it at all we'll see him beating on the table we'll be like, exactly. that little prison nigga can rap yeah you know what i mean so i would be way i would really i don't know if it's the people around him but i think he should really move a little smoother man a lot smoother i would love to because you know